My name is John Dernin. I'm the Chief Executive and Artistic Director of Pitlockery Festival Theatre. The common strand that binds what looks to be six very different shows together for the 2013 is the idea of living in the public eye. Um, we're all very familiar with celebrity culture, with living in an age where seemingly you can become famous simply by being famous. Um, and I thought it would be an interesting idea to look at six different plays which actually tackle this subject from different periods, from different approaches, and in very, very different ways. We start the season with Hello, Dolly, Jerry Herman's great musical from 1964, uh, which is, of course, itself based upon multiple other versions of a story that dates back to the, the early years of the 19th century, uh, and has at its centre this extraordinary character of Dolly Levi, the, the infamous matchmaker, um, and follows her in the course of a single day in the 1890s in New York, uh, seeing her piece together the most extraordinary matches between a variety of different people and at the same time also sorting out um, what is something of a vacuum in her own romantic life. The second show to open, uh, Alan Akebourne's Chorus of Disapproval, uh, goes in a very different direction. The hero at the heart of Chorus of Disapproval is a complete non-entity who achieves celebrity status in the very strange and unfamiliar surroundings of an amateur dramatics company somewhere in Yorkshire. A brilliant play, marvellously conceived and widely considered to be Akebourne's masterpiece. Uh, the third show to open, uh, another change of tack. Uh, this time we go genuinely into the world of celebrity culture with Noel Coward uh, and Present Laughter, um, one of his most sublime comedies from the late 1930s, um, largely held to be something of a, a self-portrait, the story of an incredibly vain dictatorial um, actor who suddenly finds his, his normally ordered life thrown into complete disarray when some of his um, fans' obsessions begin to get um, a little bit overwhelming, shall we say. Uh, back to back with that as number four, we have Alan Bennett's Single Spies, an extraordinary double bill which tells the story of two of those involved in the great Cambridge spy ring of the 1950s and the 1960s. Um, the first play, An Englishman Abroad, um, looks at Guy Burgess uh, in exile in Moscow um, and an extraordinary encounter he had with the actress Coral Brown in 1958. The second play, A Question of Attribution, uh, takes an equally extraordinary figure, Sir Anthony Blunt, who spent many years as a revered art historian and a surveyor of the Queen's pictures. All the time, also acting uh, as a mole for Soviet intelligence. Two extraordinary stories told with all of Bennett's characteristic wit and style. For the fifth play, we jump back a century and we go back to Oscar Wilde, Lady Windermere's fan. Wilde was fascinated by um, the glittering upper echelons of Victorian society, fascinated by its joys, but also fascinated by its hypocrisy. Uh, and Lady Windermere's fan, his first huge theatre hit, tells the story of someone who finds themselves trapped in this public spotlight uh, when they're confronted with a very, very compromising family situation. Our very last show in the season, Jim Cartwright's Two, if you like, goes to quite the opposite end of the social scale. Uh, it's set in the late 1980s. It takes place in a pub in the north of England. A cast of just two play 14 different characters in the show um, and create all of those regulars in this one particular pub, including at the centre of uh, the play and at the centre of attention, the landlord and landlady, whose public displays of um, uh, uh, bonhomie uh, and generosity and hospitality mask uh, an incredibly painful personal story. And so when you put all those six plays together, I think you get a really interesting cross-section of views of um, what celebrity meant to different writers, what it meant in different periods, and how what we believe is actually a very, very modern and a very, very contemporary uh, element to our world is actually something that's been going on for much, much, much longer.